you might have seen our video on the 100 year old Dodge owned by our friend James Cameron. If you haven't, you should. Ben and I drove down to deepest darkest Hampshire and the plan was to shoot the interview with Jim in the morning, jump into the old Dodge and go to the pub for lunch. Then after a little light refreshment, Glorious. shoot some driving scenes so on the road. The but as someone once said, the best laid plans of mice and men gang after Glay. And so it proved on this occasion. So this video is how we got the old girl running in order to get to the pub before closing time. With his purchase of the car, Jim had taken ownership of the most magnificent user manual I've ever seen. But as blokes, we gave it just a cursory glance because neither of us could think of a single thing that could go wrong. Just their polarity to the battery and guns, which way they're fitted. Well, I mean, this is very straightforward. It, it tells you here about the strokes. Well, do you know, if this was a modern thing, it would tell you not to eat the battery. It would, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whereas right. here, they're actually telling you which, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what number three cylinder is doing on the third stroke. <laughs> Spot on. Perfect size for that. Oh, it smells good too. <laughs> the car doesn't come with a fuel gauge, so I whipped up a dipstick made out of a small stick. Is that much fuel? Yeah, so we might put a wee drop more in it. Okay, if it's, especially if it's fresh, because this, this has been there a long yeah. time. Yeah. Some oh, fresh fuel would cool. give it the best chance of starting. What are we doing here? Well, you've got a funnel. We've got to do additive stuff. I have got a funnel, but you wouldn't be able to get that yeah. in under there. So I'm pulling it into here to then go. Measuring accurately, <coughs> 700 millimeters at a time. That's it. You want a good vintage? <laughs> yeah, so it smells good. So That's a good vintage, that. Someone's doing well. well Is that 99? <laughs> yeah. Well, let chuck that in there. So we're going to fill a 50 gallon tank, 500 milliliters at a time. <laughs> no, we're going to do a couple of these, but the other thing is I need to know how much is going in it, because I also need to be doing my ah, lead additive. Lead additive, substiplom. So to be able to do this, you've got to get the dosage right. One milliliter per liter of petrol. Pretty cool. There you go. So chuck that in. We'll do a couple of those, and then I can stick in. Okay, well, this isn't as easy. Is that going in all right? Yeah, it'll be right. Okay. Well. How much did you want on the floor? Yeah, as much as you can. <laughs> well, in which case we're doing oh, fine. Now good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why my phone has gone. It's upsetting. Shall I stop f***ing about and go and get a little green 5 litre fuel tank? No. And I'll do it that way. You said 1 milliliter per litre? 1 milliliter per litre, yeah. So, to be honest, there's sod all of this and there's nothing in here. But... So, you need 2 milliliters. No, one, 1 milliliter. I literally need 1 milliliter. <laughs> <laughs> She's pointless. That's it. It doesn't even show on this. 10 milliliters. Squidgy, squidgy. It's not going to hurt it, is it? There you go. Here look, it gives him something to look at. There's your, there's your one milliliter, <laughs> accurately measured. Let's see if I can get it most over the floor again. That's it, if you could just drop that bit on the floor, get the rest of it in there, that would be cool. There's literally everything here, look, there's the horn. The mounting and construction of the horn, driven by a small electric motor and can be adjusted by, oh, it can be adjusted by loosening lock and adjusting screw to right or left. Well, we've, we've obviously got to adjust our, our adjust horn. Adjust the horn, yeah. Uh, let's, um, see about that.
Not only does it come with a brilliant manual, but the horn is arguably the greatest sounding horn on the planet. A quick wipe over after two years of inactivity was needed before we fired her up for the first time. There's no linkage, where's the... Do so you have to do it yourself? Yes. Yeah, but you're sat there, so it's not exactly true. And then this here is the water pump. Yep. But the way the seal works for the water pump is the shaft goes through the middle of it and there's rope seals mm -hmm. around both sides yep. with an impeller then in the middle. That rope seal, you can adjust them to a certain degree and then water just pisses through them because they're not the most watertight of things. So uh, it was good, but that's one of the things that would be quite interesting. So I don't know how much water it's actually lost. Um, but it seems largely to be by evaporation rather than anything else. So there isn't too much that's left in the things underneath it. No. I mean, there's, there's, there's an indication that it has been leaking. There's yeah. rust in the, in, the, in the water, is it? Um, yeah, yeah. But I don't know whether I've that's from previous or, or what. Well, so what we'll do, yeah, chuck some in. Let's see how we get on. And I've got half an eye on that to see whether, as I'm pouring it in here, whether I'm just pouring it through the engine and out the bottom. Hopefully not. Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on this car then, Rich? Well, I love it. It's fantastic. It's a, it's a 1923 Dodge touring car. It's the first touring car. I mean, it's not a British touring car, but it's a touring car. Um, it's a glorious thing. I mean, whether we can get it going or not is a whole different matter. I mean, it's, it's been stood for two years. It hasn't What's done your gut feeling about that then? It's been stood for two years. How does it look? Well it's, it's, well, it's been beautifully restored, um, and, and it has been used, but just not the last couple of years. But I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. I mean, the, the fuel's probably been sat for a while, so that might be a bit, a bit of... There's no water in it, um, so it's leaked out at some point, but um, they do that. There's no... That's the reason there's drip trays underneath them. They just evaporate. Um, the seals are nothing like they are these days. They're awful rope seal things, and they pour water through them. So, OK, we'll fill it up with water, and we put a little bit of fuel in it. Um, I don't think it's very fresh. It's probably, it doesn't smell very fresh, but as long as we can fill the float bowl and, and, uh, it, and the spark, we should be good to go. Uh, a stupid question: it's battery and all that. I mean, it's a 1923. What what technology? Is, how do you how do you start it? I was expecting to crank it up at the front. Well, they work. I mean, in 23, they still work. You, you, you can still crank stuff, but this one doesn't have it. It has an electric starter. So that's modified. No, no, no. It came with an electric starter. Wow. This, back is, in this, is, this is American. So they, they're all about convenience. So <laughs> yeah, of course it's got a starter mode. Um, but it's not operated with a key. You've got a push button on your foot. Look, right, we, mate. Can, we can crank it. We can crank it. <laughs> I mean, should it, should the battery fail? I can, right. It looks like I've been volunteered <laughs> to uh, voluntold to, to do this. Voluntold. Yeah. yeah, that's a whole different matter. So, can we get it going? Yeah, I reckon we can. It's starting to feel like I'm near the top now, though. I mean, the car isn't leaking, but the yeah, the watering can. Yeah, you've got so to be far, fast. I just think we've had to put fluids in it. The, 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 <laughs> the can. The, the, the receptacle can. has been really poor. <laughs> yeah. Mindful of Jim's warning about the water pump seals. I took a closer look to see if we had any leaks. Well, it's not pouring out the bottom, so that's the good news. I say it was restored, so it should be fine, so but these are old. After topping the water up, Jim needed a refresher course on the gearbox. I've just pissed water all over the top of the engine, so it's impossible to tell if it does leak where it's coming from. Ah, there we go. First, second, high. <laughs> I mean, really? All right, hang on. Yeah, so that's neutral across. Okay, yeah, right. So reverse is ac across and down. Yeah. Well, the only thing is as well. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so reverse is across and down. First is up. Second, high. Yeah. I like it. Let's um, give it a bit of a, a push. So do you just want to watch the level? Yep. And you can have half an eye on that water pump on the side. Yep. Because all of that should turn as well. And Very neutral. And we are in neutral. Yeah, that also, neutral is about yay long. Whereas being in gear is about yay long in terms of movement, so you're right to check. And that will go. And that will go. And then let's turn it over. Water pump is turning. Not getting a huge amount of drop in level, so that's quite good. Good. Well, you'd expect some of it to be getting circulated into the engine, yeah. but, uh, but that's pretty good. Um, that wasn't exactly the most 
spirited of turnovers though, was it? It wasn't, was it? I mean, the, it, that is kind of how it turns over and how it, how it fires, okay. but we can put a jump pack on this as well and just give it an extra boost. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. It's a fantastic thing. The, the Boyce motor meter, it's just a beautiful piece of industrial design. Can you imagine how much that would cost these days? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Yep. Boom. Like that. That's how it goes. This is the choke. Right. There, look. So does, what's not happening down does there? Does nothing. So this clamp is anything. So that clamp needs tightening up. Right. The question is, does it? Oh. Bloody hellfire. Probably a good thing Nick's not here. Well, he's handy sometimes. Might take a while. It's ever so stiff. The uh, the link is it's quite stiff. I tried to. Yeah, does it do move? Or not? It does move. Whether it moves with the um, the thing is a different matter. Okay. Well, do you want to help it a little bit? Yeah, and see if we can. That's yeah. Look, that's still sliding through there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we only need to start, surely. So we can do this manually. Yeah. Ow, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Got me. How sorry? Uh, well, <laughs> Not okay, that sorry. So look, if we're going to run through the. Oh, there's a reason that the clamp is no good. What? Because <laughs> this screw is the wrong screw. Ah. This is supposed to be against this body here. Yeah. Because there's a thread sticking out, so it's not actually tightening on anything. Got it. Or there needs to be a spacer here. Yeah. So that's the reason that doesn't work. Yeah, okay. So I'm not sure I can do much without a spacer or a shit ton of um, washers. I can do a shit ton of washers. That might work. Or some sort of spacer about 10 mil long. Hmm. How many washers? So all you were doing was, was, was um, bottoming out this on a blind hole. Same. Christ, right, okay. <laughs> Of course, if this was at the shed, Nick would have delighted in taking to the lathe to whip up a little aluminium spacer exactly the right size. But we had to work without such luxuries, so made the best use of what Jim had lying about in his place. If you've got a drill, yeah. we can open those holes up. Let's see if that's about the right depth. Uh, they're not really hard enough. Black and decker work, mate. These look new, mate. Look at that. You're not actually using them. No. Someone bought us these, and I've been using my dad's old ones they're instead. Good, <laughs> Find your fingers. Yeah, that might be challenging. Bench. Got a bit of a pallet over there. I'll do it. Hmm. Two washers dodge for the oh, use of a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah they should do. Hopefully, that will go through there now. Where's it from? Before the bottom of it. Did, was there another washer? Like, there was one more washer, wasn't there? Like about the oh, mm. Sorry. No, it's about right. the right sort of size. Yep. It's too great. Because it's still bottoming out slightly. I think we're close enough, but. I 
Where is the um, choke at the moment? Is it? It's all the way in. So, so that's down. Forward, yes. Uh, it is recognised as a black pull-out button with a spring in it. Pull it to its maximum for full choke when starting from cold. So is it still all the way in? It is still all oh, the way not in. quite. Go on, give it a... No, that's... Is that it? That's it. You're happy, okay. Yeah. Got a bit of traction into that. Do you want to I help it slightly so. just to? Yeah, give it a. And do we want a WD40 in it? Oh, look at that. Look. <gasps> Push it. Yes, it worked. It's just stiff. And then. Doesn't go all the way up. Doesn't all the way go down. No, not quite. <sighs> so, a bit of WD40 into there, you reckon? Yeah, I'll take that. Spring is about as much use as a one-legged man in an arse kicking contest. <laughs> um, I think what I'll do is I'll just take this out again and just have a little feel of the mechanism without this. Yeah. Um, while this is flapping in the breeze. You know what, the, the black ones won't come off because they're wound yep. in. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole lot of freeing things up. I hesitate to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, if that, uh, if that spring is meant to spring this back, I mean, it, it absolutely doesn't, because that's stiff. If you want to be more old school, oh, three and one is the way forward. I'm these, are, these are, you only inherit these. They, so I've just taken this out just because. So you've got. So uh, yeah, okay. It doesn't feel too bad, and it, it, it's clearly. Well, you're a doing it with your fingers. Yeah. There's clearly a detent on it, so you can yeah. feel that click, 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 click. Was in this. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, but if you feel this. Yeah. That's pretty stiff. Yeah. Okay. And that springs about, as I say. So maybe on the maybe some three and one on the link on on that. On That's there. exactly it. Yeah, I got this. Thanks. That's a good joke, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to use this stuff. This this was last used on a Cortina by my dad, probably. So there's a, a particular smell to three and one that I love. Yeah. Oh, like, look at that! Look. Is that getting any easier? Is it? A little bit. A little bit. Do you want me to work it from this end? Yeah. Yeah, this this is this is a lovely motion. The in out motion. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> it's ribbed. <laughs> For her extra pleasure. For her pleasure. For her pleasure. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, there you go. We're wheeled up. Let's put it back together again and see what happens. Of course, the irony is we could have just fired this up by now. It would have just been fine, wouldn't it? Mm. We know this because we're working on it. Okay, so that's where it was. Of course, I haven't dropped it in the under tray, like on modern cars. There's no way I'd have found that. It's just disappeared <laughs> underneath somewhere into the coolant pack. Okay, so you're fully in. I'm fully in. Do you want me to do fully out? Well, I'm not quite fully in, I am now fully in. Okay. Beautiful. So, give that a little go. Oh, so that, that on feels. is good. And off, off is, is better. Better, it's nearly there. It's nearly there. Nearly there. All right, well that's good. Should we I call mean, that? Yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. All right, good. Starting instructions. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Spark lever to advance. Up, retard, down. Done. There we go. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we're getting any food. Smells like it. And now there's some fuel in there, but not loads, so. I thought that would pop. Does that pop up? 
Yeah, it does, yeah. And you push it down to shut it off, basically. So the way, the way it works is it naturally hangs down and as the, as the thing comes up, it lifts up on those and what that does is it pushes that down into the bottom that stops the fuel coming in. Yep. Take that out and see whether we've got fuel coming. It's wet, so there's something has happened. It might be that it's only just starting to come through, so. That should be drawing through like Billy so. It looked like it, the whole thing moved, so I would have thought that would. Um... Yeah, and it's 90 degrees and down parallel with the pipe is. Yeah, and that's really steady. Yeah, just get in there with an angry thing. Now lives in the Dodge. Now lives in the Dodge. I mean, it's an old school car, so you want old school lubrication. It is tight, isn't it? But that is very tight. But it seems off. It definitely moved the whole thing. So I would, I would assume, yeah, that that is allowing fuel to go. Hmm. For an engine to run, you need three things: spark, fuel, and compression. At this point, we're not sure we've got any of those things, so we're about to dump a load of fuel in the float bowl to at least eliminate one variable. So if we put fuel in that, yeah, what could possibly? There we go. Beautiful. Choke fully on, retarded. Yep. Ignition on. Yep. And it's turning over a lot nicer now. <laughs> it works! Choke in half, maybe? Yeah. It smells a bit fuely now, doesn't it? So choke in half, leave it retarded. Yeah, okay. Help it. Love it. Okay. Hard to say, isn't it? Well, it's pretty easy because you take the top off that and go, oh, it's swimming in it. <laughs> That's all the way retarded. <laughs> Does not, not feel a bit bloody to you. Or have we just run out of that little bit of fuel that we split it into possible? Um, yeah, let's let's have a look. Aha. Thinking about that. Hmm. I'm gonna press it again. I want to see what's coming through. Nada. So, where is the blockage? Well, yeah. it ran for a few seconds, which was encouraging, but encouraging won't get us to the pub. The fuel line should also be cleaned frequently so there'll be no obstruction to the passage of gasoline. <laughs> this can be done by blowing out the fuel lines with compressed air or a tarp on it. Well, blow down it. <laughs> Take this off, this is the line to the tank. Yep. We can undo that yep. and blow down it and see if we get anything coming out, the, coming out the back and then that we know yeah, is clear. Yeah. That's all we can do, isn't it? I guess. Nine sixteenths, right. Come on, piss out of here. Well, I've got to wrap my lips around your pipe. Ah. Ugh. The things you have to do for content, Rich. 
I've been wanting to do this for ages, Jim. <laughs> Did you get some bubblage? Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to try it again until you do? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, no, genuinely, I saw bubbles as soon as that, all as right, soon so as you did that. In is okay. In is all right, okay. So, this thing here is... That's the vacuum line. Vacuum line. Yeah, absolutely. So, so in which case, if this comes, if I take this off, yeah. hold my finger over it, yeah. it should be able to fill some vacuum. Because yeah. we're turning over. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. Press the button. Press the button. There's vacuum. It's not brilliant, but I don't expect a lot to be honest. I'm not entirely sure, but there's definitely some vacuum going on. Yeah, okay. So, I guess there's a great big diaphragm in there, isn't there? There is a great big diaphragm in there. Uh, looks like that. Right, okay. Cool, All right. Okay. Well. You know why it's not working, because that ain't coming through today. Uh, we'll check that, we'll check that. Shall I get a mouthful of fuel, and we'll at least get some up to here? You want to suck it? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I think you're saying. I think that's what we're going to do, isn't it? Don't be afraid. Suck it. <laughs> Don't be shy. I'm going to need tea after this. This is your car. <laughs> so you get to drink the stuff that's in the back of it. Here we go. Difficult to get your drink. It is. Mmm. just not coming up. Actually, I think it's quite hard to draw through. It's, it's not a very big orifice. <laughs> Nothing doing. No change. What's that? Oh, oh, there's noises in here now. No. Do you know, uh, do you know what? I, I think it may be. Start it again. Just shove a bit more in there. Yep. It was clear at this point we had a problem with the fuel delivery it's system. Open fuel container and the sparks. Mm -hmm. What's the worst? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Pops in these there. I think that thing needs to be closed, if I'm honest. Check out the ignition, aren't you? Oh, come on, baby. Now that's proper on that block. Turn the choke off. You might need to do the last little bit of movement on it. It's not bad now, it's good in there. And how many tools do you need out? Yes. As you can see, these have been used. You get this for Christmas. <laughs> I will have bought this in a fit of rage with something. <laughs> At some point. Be the big one if anything, it's going to be the small one. Yeah. Number one cylinder is showing a little bit of, um, it was blowing past, uh, when it was turning over, it was blowing past the spark plug. Okay. There was a little bit of water in the thing there, so I'm not sure quite what's going on, but should we have a little shifty? Let's have a look. Do you want an extension bar? Sure. I thought it was wise to check the spark plugs for tightness and condition. What size? <laughs> no. Uh, so that's 14 mil, so that's 916, so it, much, it needs to be much bigger. They looked fine, so I put them back in, using an adjustable spanner, Natch. Well, they're accessible. It's not steel into alley, which, no, which I hate. Yeah. Oh, that's close enough. Yes, it is accessible. We have joke. 
Check. On. Make demanding fuel. Yeah, hold, hold your horses. That's fuel. So it's leaking out somewhere. At the block. How does this work? This is the drag I was using. Yeah, for that. Well, this one's a manky as well. The carburetor is just, it's, it's almost open to the elements. Yeah. The inlet tractors, there's no filter on it. Air inlet, yeah. So it talks about an air inlet, hot and cold thing as well. So turn that off. This is your oil level here. So it's like a little fishing float that's literally swimming in oil in the sump, just bobbing about. <laughs> what did you just learn? I heard some murmurs. We've we've learnt that it's it's got a a sleeve for hot air and cold air that goes into the engine that's supposed to be closed, and it was open. It's always been open. This hot air shot <laughs> should be closed except in very hot weather. That's what okay. it is. Okay, so we closed it off. Well, it's not very hot today, is it? Let's not say it. No. Fuel's on, ignition's on, power's <laughs> on. Engage. Guitar is plummeted. Nice and throttle. Cup of tea. Yes. That always makes things better. Let it think about what it's done for a minute. Think about the error of its ways. Quite. So. Okay, there's a car in there that wants to work. It definitely does, doesn't it? It definitely does. I told you it works straight after a cup of tea. Cup of tea, you see. That's what it's all about. Sort of work. Tea works. That's what needed. More tea. More tea. Hey, more tea, more better. We need more tea. So should I chip that thing at the top and see what happens? Because that. Right. Yes. So let's put that on. Let's put this back in. <laughs> How many times do you think we need to do that for us to get the hang of it? Oh gosh, we, well, I don't think we'll ever get it. <laughs> Ah, first time, look at that. Yay. Come on. That feel, I think. <laughs> it made car noises. Come on. Is, is it because it's something you actually did? What, what did you identify? Uh, that if you persistently just keep trying lots and lots of little things, eventually, eventually. Well, she actually ran and ran. Oh, ran nice. That's good, yeah.
Cut tight, mate. Sure. So we're not getting suckage? Right, okay. so uh, well I've found the... I nearly put my foot all the way through the floor there and disappeared. Alright, right, so we've got something to go on. So, if I close that tap off, yeah. and then take this thing apart, this line here, yeah. we know it comes up to here because you sucked it. I have sucked it. We know that works because there's some vacuum. Because we have seen some vacuum. So it's that thing there that's playing up. This here. I just want to try and take the thing out at the bottom. Yeah. Without f***ing it up. Yes, got it. Not on. Okay. So. Here's a tune. So stiff, isn't it? Well, it doesn't want to be. No. Okay. All right. Well, the stopcock's all right. We blew through this, and there was definitely no problem because you heard it at the back. Well, I can give it another blow if you want me to. And you sucked it up the other way, didn't you? And I, I did suck it up the other way. I'm going to do that again, just out of... Because I like, I like it. I don't like it. Because if it's sat with fuel for a couple of years in it, and that link, those linkages are gummed up. Yeah, that's what I think. It's got half a chance of being not working. Sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Stop, stop, stop. Oh Can my god, what are you <laughs> Look at this. Ah, the ratchet one. <laughs> Look at that. That's lovely. That's a proper granddad tool, that is. That was my granddad's, yeah. yeah. After eliminating every other possibility, we decided it was the fuel pump that was the problem. That's the silver cylindrical thing I'm making hard work of trying to disassemble. Will that do it? Seems to be barely any depth to the head. I'll saw through the fuel line will be a really bad thing to do. There we go. Without being daft, three in one? It wouldn't no, be to go in no. It. <laughs> Just look at it sternly until it gives in. <laughs> He's looking for tools that I don't have. <laughs> He's found it. It's a hammer. <laughs> you yeah. found a hammer? <laughs> This is a terrible idea. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's got very manly forearms, you see. Yeah. Excellent. That turned? It did, yeah. I got, I'm probably just going to do it with these. Oh, there you ah, go. you see, look. Oh yeah, that's turning. Yeah, look at that. The other ones are fine, that's just one. There's yeah. been a bit of a... There's always one. Right. Okay. <laughs> now... What do we think? Who knows what lies within here? Have you ever seen inside it? I mean, you've seen, you've seen the, the, uh, the drawing for it. Does it all come out together? Does it... Who knows? I mean, it's clearly got a seal on it. Cool. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. There's your float. Christ. There's a shit ton of fuel in there. Excellent. Well, hang on, why is it not falling out of there? That's a great question. 
Well, it's because that thing isn't working to send it from one chamber into the other. So there's some sort of a needle or something that isn't... Oh, look at that. To read it how it works. Well, the atmospheric valve will be closed. And the suction valve open, connecting the upper chamber to the intake passage. To run? Yeah. So... Is there a load of fuel in the bottom of it? Tons. That should be draining into Pissing out of the bottom. So it's that valve sticking, stopping it from going from this top chamber, which is filling nicely, to yeah. the bottom chamber, which would just drop out and fill that thing. Yeah. I reckon with a month we'll have this. We'll have this nailed. Yeah. Of persistent fecking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stuck something up it and it's all gone psh, and now it's now pissing out. Interesting. Which is it coming out of? It's coming out the drain. It's right, coming out okay. the drain, yeah. But what I'm trying to work out is this is showing yeah. two chambers. So I'm sticking my thing up there. But this comes all the way up to the top. This looks like a separate this looks like a separate pressing. Yeah, so are those the But there isn't a separate pressing in there. Having never seen a fuel pump like this one before, it was taking me some time to get my head around it. Well, the other way is putting more pressure in from the top and just blowing it open so there's nothing in the bottom. How do we put more pressure in the top? Like a piston, push down and compress and ping it open. And you'd open once it just to go clunk open and for it just to piss out. You've got a little bit of hose, something like, like clamp on open. Or like a, a, like a, You're asking uh, me for a hoe. <laughs> Hose. Uh, Jesus shit, Christ. Sorry, mate. I was just giving it a go. <laughs> you getting spare underpants? We now have a handle on what the problem is, but fixing it without a good compressor might be problematic. So what have you deduced? Well, it's the totally, flapper valve. Totally f mate, isn't it? Big time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's this, this vacuum, it's this fuel delivery system that's screwing us over. Yeah, it is. Um, and I'm desperate not to drop this toothpick. Which I'm using as a pokey thing. Because it's a hell of a long way down. Really? And yeah. so... So, well, that's presumably going all the way down through into the... Yeah, thing below. Are you attempting a repair of some kind then? Well, yeah, basically there's a flap in there which is stuck. So, in here you've got a, an upper chamber and a lower chamber. And the upper chamber's got all of these. It's got a float in it. And it's got this rather com complicated bit of apparatus here that, whose job is to go up and down and in a rather clunky way, open or close two valves on this side. One of which is vacuum coming from the engine. And the other one of which is um, an atmosphere feed. So when there's no fuel in the tank, there's no fuel in the top chamber, that drops right down. And what that does is it, is it seals off the top chamber from the bottom chamber. Um, so what it does at that point is it's opened the vacuum feed, so it pulls fuel, uh, the vacuum, draws fuel in from the tank. And as this rises up, it does it until the point when, clunk, those two swap over. And at that point, the fuel in the top just by gravity drops down into the bottom tank and the bottom tank the bottom of the tank is just there and it's just feeding that bowl just using gravity which end blowing in from the top there trying to mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go red in the face isn't it? <laughs> yeah I was using me using my toothpick as a guide for the tube to go onto the top of that thing but I can't get a good enough seal no Jim found a 12 volt compressor that I could use to swirl up the old fuel and the sediment and generally make more of a mess inside the fuel pump. Because that'll help. Can I give you something else? Like what? The problem with it. What? The amount of The amount of in it. This is the problem. That's it. There we go. Good. That's because now I can't see the strainer at the bottom. That's impressive. That's how bad it is in there. Right then, so shall I go and get something that sucks it all up? If you figure out how to get that into there, then you've suddenly got yourself a needle blower. Yep. I'm with you. Why not? 
and then that should go on the end of there. I'll bring something to soak up everything in there and at least let's put some fresh on the top. It's like two halves of a MacGyver. Well, when life gives you the lemons, mm. something wrong just because lemons are shit. So the plan with this now then, mm -hmm. is to use the compressor to fire through this. This is about the same sort of size as that. And hopefully I might be able to get that. It's very deep, so it might not be long enough. But to blow the crap out and see if we can open that valve. And if the, if the valve opens and the stuff pours out and the crap pours out of it, then maybe we've got a chance. We soaked up all this dirty mess to give us at least a chance of seeing what we were doing. Meanwhile, Jim found a new implement designed specifically to remove blockages. A bit of... <laughs> some shock. <laughs> There's still nothing coming out the bottom though, is it? Go through it again. Hang on, let's lock the bottom off. You reckon? Well... Then it's just pressurised, surely. Yeah, but I'm, I'm wanting to do something. Okay. Good plunging action. <laughs> I feel really comfortable doing this for some reason. Like I've got excellent <laughs> muscle tone. I don't understand why. Right, tell you what. Open the bottom, if you can. And then I'll give it some of... This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done, but... I can't believe it's the right circumference. It's also not working. Oh. It's too full of crap. Have you tried throwing the kitchen sink at it? <laughs> the kitchen sink plunger. Hey, Jack. <laughs> the stuff that was getting trapped in the top has just all gone, psh, fallen out to the bottom. So I've freed the valve up. Whether it opens and closes as it should do, I don't know. But Rich, I think if you pour in the top, that's yep. just going to cascade straight out let's, the bottom. Let's hope so. Cause... Yep, look at that. Pissing straight through. Cool. Have you f***ed up a valve? Might have. <laughs> so it might never close. Um, but the float bowl will take care of that. But the, the f well, yeah, yeah, the float bowl will take care of that. So, the f yeah. Well, ooh, well, this is very good news. Yeah, it really this, is. We've got half a chance here now. That's a breakthrough. We've got half a chance. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, well, let me clean that thing up. <laughs> oh, you beauty. Oh, yeah, a bit of... Beautiful job. Well done, me. That's better. Thanks. If it's rounded off, it's tight enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how it works. So... Okay, yeah, so we're pouring some in just to see if it comes out so of the actual... We're asking it to yeah. come out of here, isn't yeah. it? So if I spin this, because that's where it's supposed to be anyway. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yep. So it'll fill to the level where that actually starts taking it off and then you'd expect to see it come out of there. Yeah, it's dripping. It's coming, it's pissing. Absolutely pissing. Right. So, that's primed. I would say that's primed, isn't it? Yep. Should I put a little bit more in just to... Can, can if you like. <laughs> yeah, because you don't often get to see in the top of these things. No. Right, the trick is here, mate. You've got to make sure that that, that one lines up with the thing. lines up with your hole. Yeah, Correct. absolutely. But it should kind of make sense once you've rotated the whole thing to the right place. Right, so it's there. 
So that one has to go around. You. Like. <laughs> As you can see. The blockage was released by Jim aimlessly in. poking a sharp screwdriver up through the drain hole. So now it can go back together. Right, stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's like I'm just secret. struggling with this. Really? Yeah. Uh, we were supposed to have bits left over. And he looks like. Well, it's not that way. It's just. He's not going to be bits left over, so I found some random bits and pieces yeah, in the bottom of the toolbox, and I just thought I'd put it in there. So we just need to see him figure out where they've come off. Uh, no, it's too low. Beautiful. That's gone on nicely. So it's got to put the bracket back on. Yeah. Bracket! <laughs> yes! It's happening here. Here <laughs> in my very own garden. Is Bracketry is occurring. <laughs> oh, it's the best <laughs> thing. Uh, oh, too much candy. That'll help. That'll help. Mm, Not the hammer. No. It's always the hammer. Just as bad as Nick, you are. And while that's done, let's pull it together. Do it from a great height. Ah, come on. First time somewhere in anyway. <laughs> Somewhere close will do the trick. That look, there's, so there's some in there. There we go. Fine. But <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want the fuel on? I'm going to say. I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Let's put the fuel on. That's so you can immobilise it with the German game. Fuel. I'm going to pull the choke. Is on. Out. Choke. We fixed the choke. As instructed, because we fixed the choke. And then I'm going to press down on this thing here. I've gone full retard. Don't go full retard. Never go full retard. Never go full retard. <laughs> it says in the book. <laughs> it's always going to do this because we've got some fuel. With the fix having taken us almost all day, and with the light fading, we had to make haste, or as much haste as a hundred year old car would let us, to get to the pub before last orders. It's a glorious thing to drive, if a little intimidating. The crash box transmission takes some time to master, and the car interprets your steering inputs only as a vague indication of which way you want to go. The dead spot in the centre is a full quarter turn and there's no self-centering, so you must continually work to keep the car on the straight and narrow. But with an unexpectedly fantastic day drawing to a close, we finally made it to the pub for a well-earned pint. <laughs>